kind of out of order, but hello, I'm Presley. <laughs> I forgot to film an intro for the video you're about to see, so well, I just didn't I didn't introduce myself. So hi, I'm Presley. <laughs> Today we are going to be. Um, arranging some bookshelves. This is going to be like a bookshelf tour slash arranging video slash book haul because I'm going to Barnes & Noble. It's going to be a whole thing. Okay, so obviously there are books just everywhere and I'm so out of breath from getting these all up the stairs, but you know what? Time to organize. Basically, I kind of hate it <laughs> because I just decided that I was going to do everything alphabetical order. And I just don't like it. I think it's kind of ugly and I didn't really go completely alphabetical order. I went, okay, here are M's, here are P's. So this is how it turned out. I'm gonna go over here. Oh, there's the bottom. I'm gonna go to the bottom. Over, over one over here. Hello, everyone. I just went to Barnes and Noble, but I didn't vlog anything in there because I didn't want to. Um, so I figured film a little haul now. So basically, here we go. Um, okay, so right now I'm reading The Cruel Prince, so I don't know if I like it or not, so I'm borrowing The Wicked King and The Queen of Nothing from my cousin. And then I got, I'm so excited about this, I got Renegades. I love Marissa Meyer's other book, so this is going to be really fun, and I'm sure my mom and I will read it together. Um, I'm really excited about all the books I got. I got The Gilded Wolves. Woohoo! Oh my gosh, sorry. Um, I have not read Scythe yet. I decided I'm gonna binge it though. So I got The Toll and Thunderhead. And Ace of Spades. Uh, Ace of Shades. Because it came out in paperback. <laughs> the Last True Poets of the Sea looks so good. Very excited about that. These are all paperbacks, so I'm kind of happy about it. We Hunt the Flame. And, ooh, What We Devour. Ooh, she looks cool. And Sorcery of Thorns. So, yeah, now I'm going to put them all back. But, yeah, I'm really excited about all those books. They look so good. So, I wanted there to be a point to this video. So, I figured we would just throw in... A July wrap up for this month. <laughs> this video's been all over the place. Your girl read, I don't know if I can get these in the frame. <laughs> 15 bucks this month. <laughs> uh, uh. There we go. I was getting a picture for the front. Okay, I gotta put these down. So, the first book I read this month was Cruel Beauty by Rosamond Hodge. I genuinely liked this because I love Beauty and the Beast and Beauty and the Beast retellings are just so fun. Um, there wasn't anything wrong with this. The Greek mythology was weird. So basically this book is a Beauty and the Beast retelling. This girl gets sold to the Beast and he's a prince and it's weird because it's got it's got Greek mythology in it, and so it's it's weird, but if you're into that, 
go for it. It's not bad. It's like a, it's like a fun little read and it's quick and fast. I read The History Buff's Guide to the Civil War by Thomas R. Flagel in honor of, I forgot. It was the anniversary of the Battle of Gettysburg, July 1st, 2nd, and 3rd. So I was like, oh, I'm going to finish this because I started it and never finished it. And I mean, I've annotated the crap out of this thing. So I just, I, yeah, I wanted to finish it and it was really good. I kind of want to read his other books. It takes me a long time to get through history books, but it was really good. He's so knowledgeable about the Civil War. You can tell this guy really does his research and yeah, it's just fun. I recommend this. If you are a Civil War person, you know, you like history or any of his other books because he just, he presents information in a really cool way. The next book I read in July was The Shadows Between Us by Trisha Levenseller. This book was so good. It was probably my favorite book I read this month. And I mean, it was so addictive and kind of dark and it was just good and rich and uh basically this girl named Alessandra wants to be queen she wants to be powerful so she's like I'm gonna go marry the king I'm gonna get him to fall in love with me and I'm going to kill him and she just sets right out on that path she's a go-getter unforgivingly herself unforgivingly unforgivingly herself she is just so good you should read this if you like um, fantasy with kings and queens and powerfulness and romance. It's just awesome. The next book I read this month, I honestly didn't like that much, but it was The Night Circus by Aaron Morgenstern. Um, here's the thing. This book is written so beautifully. It's got such a great idea. Her writing is so thick. It's good. It's really good. But there was no way to like connect you to the characters. You don't feel attached to them. I kind of felt attached towards the dude who made the clock, but that's because I love old people. <laughs> and I just, I just never felt attached to the characters. So it didn't give me that, oh my gosh, this book was so good, kind of pizzazz. But it is fun, it's magical, and I'm really into like dark, magical fantasy carnivals. So I was looking forward to reading something like this. Um, but yeah, I think it really lacked making you feel attached to characters but the writing's beautiful the next book i read this month was so good it definitely lived up to the hype because it is the unhoneymooners by christina lauren oh my gosh this was so good romance is so fun if you like contemporary romance fun stuff vacationing enemies to lovers i went really well they kind of are it's so good. You should just read it. If you're into romance, just go for it. Um, the Night Circus and The Unhoneymooners were kind of more adult novels for me because I usually stick to YA. So this was different, but it was so good. If you haven't heard of what The Unhoneymooners are about, it's about this girl. She has a twin. Her twin sister is getting married and she basically hates the groom's brother and everyone ends up getting sick at the wedding so the main character olive has to go on the honeymoon with her enemy and it's really fun it's just really fun i read <laughs> um mind blown amazing facts about this weird hilarious insane world by matthew santaro <laughs> i have been a longtime fan of matthew santaro's videos just like when i was younger i'm a part of that generation that has grown up on youtube videos and I've always loved his videos so I got this book for a Christmas present a long time ago whenever it came out and it's just really fun if you were a fan of like the Guinness World World Record books or like random facts if you're into trivia this book is for you it's kind of fun like that so then I loved this book okay the rest of the series and we'll get there but A Curse So Dark and Lonely by Bridget Kemmer was so good um, it's another Beauty and the Beast retelling, and basically this dude named Grey kidnaps girls from our world to bring them to the Beauty and the Beast realm, it's like fantasy, and the dude there, his name's Prince Ren, he's the Beast, he's cursed, 
and he's been trying and failing to get these girls to fall in love with him and break his curse for like 300 years. It hasn't worked. And then we meet Harper and well, yeah, I mean, there's two, much, two other books. So I, basically this one I did not like. Gray's character has the potential to be so interesting and awesome. And it was still a good book, but Gray has the potential to be so cool and it just didn't deliver. And then I read Avowsa Bold and Deadly which was really good, but I feel like I have a lot of unanswered questions about what's going on with some characters. So yeah, it's, I highly recommend this series, but I just love the first one, especially cause like I said, I'm a Beauty and the Beast person. Like, mm, I will forever read Beauty and the Beast retellings. The next book I read this month, I'm so excited about because it was so flipping good. Okay, I'm halfway, okay, well, I read A Good Girl's <laughs> Guide to Murder by Holly Jackson, and I'm halfway through the sequel right now, and the third book comes out September 28th, and your girl is excited, because let me tell you, I have not read a good murder mystery since The Naturals by Jennifer Lynn Barnes, like something that even compares, and this compares. It is so good. There's this couple, I think it takes, this happened five years ago in the story, and Andy Bell is dating this guy named Sal and Andy goes missing. And then two days later, Sal's body is found in the woods. He's committed suicide and her blood is found in his car. So the main character, Pippa is kind of like, I don't think he did it. I think he was framed. She investigates it for her capstone project and it is so good. So I was pretty opinionated about these next three but I really like to binge trilogies and the next one I binged was the Cruel Prince series by Holly Black. Um, this one was kind of stupid <laughs> and I, this one was slightly better and this one was so good, but basically it's about this girl and she grows up in the, in the fairy world because she gets kidnapped there. She gets if you don't know about these books, I don't feel like I need to describe what these are about. They're really good. You should read them if you like high fantasy and fairy stuff. Um, I liked them overall. Like I'm still thinking about them. So I guess that counts for something. My cousin and I do a book of the month thing together. So the book of the month we read this month together was Sorcery of Thorns by Margaret Rogerson. And this was good. I wasn't expecting to like it because while I was reading it, I kept being like, wow, this is boring. I don't like this. And I had to push through a lot, but it's good. It's good. And it's not what you're expecting. It's kind of like this Savage Song by Victoria Schwab meets the Mortal Instruments, but the movie, not, not the books. <laughs> and um, also Illusions of Fate by Kirsten White. It's like a big combination of it. And I like all those things. So it really worked out. There's like this magical library, the books in it kind of come to life. Some of them are monsters, some of them are demons, and they're kind of imprisoned and chained up in this library that she is kind of training at to become an apprentice. She gets framed for one of the librarian's murders. She's on the run. It's really good. There's a bunch of demons and magical library books. And it's always nice to relate to a character who likes to read. So this, this really works out. Good one. You should read it. I am, <laughs> I don't even want to admit that I read this book, but basically, do you guys, are you guys on book talk? Do you have that for you page? That's always like, Ooh, spicy book recommendations, spicy books you should read. And so I was kind of like, Hmm, I want to read a spicy book. So I read Desperate Measures by Katie Robert. It is like an Aladdin retelling. <laughs> meets Fifty Shades of Grey, meets 365 Days, it was not for me. I kind of thought that I'd be into this trashy romance and I'm so not. I need character development, I need writing that's good, and I need a point to reading it. <laughs> Nothing against her or people who read those kinds of books, they actually do seem like, like it has potential, but it just wasn't for me. I was kind of uncomfortable. I just, I don't think that the trashy romance is for me. But hey, I gave it a shot and now I know that about myself. 
<laughs> so yeah, I read all these books. Thanks for watching. I will link my Goodreads and all my other social media stuff in the description down below. Like and subscribe and turn on the bell notification if you want to be notified when I post a new video. Thanks for watching guys.